Hello and welcome back to Curb Stomp City and another episode of The Journey on TEW 2016. And today I'm going to bring you three shows since we hit the like target of 75 in the last episode. And if we can do that again, so 75 likes and in the next episode, next Wednesday, I'll do another three shows rather than two. And in our first show tonight, we're going to see Matt Riddle take on Ashton Rock for the lightweight championship in the main event. And that event will be called Tap or Snap. And then the second show, we have brought in Tommy End to challenge Colossus Kennedy for the heavyweight championship in that main event. And this is going to be in a Falls Count Anywhere match. So we brought in Tommy End who was released by NXT from Amsterdam, Netherlands. He is a street fighter and is definitely going to be a tough challenge for Colossus Kennedy. And yeah, but back to tonight, we're going to see Matt Riddle, who is a former UFC competitor and is now a independent wrestler. So yeah, should be a good main event and it should add some legitimacy to the lightweight championship, which is currently held by Ashton Rock. And also, I have to point out that Ashton Rock is angry because I didn't give him a pay rise and because I left him off death or glory. But since I'm rotating main events for the championships... He didn't get on the show, so... And we start the show with the first ever women's match in PWR history. And we see the alpha female defeat Aisha Ray in 9 minutes 55 by pinfall. And this wasn't bad, it's got a 22 E minus. Alpha female debuted her old school heel gimmick, cocky, and got an average. And then Aisha Ray debuted her badass cool gimmick and got a below average. And this match got the show off to a strong start, so good start from them. And we got 22 for Alpha and 18 for Aisha. So yeah, decent match to start the show. And Primate makes his entrance and awaits his opponent. And then the Dream Team's music hits and Reinaldo enters the arena alone. And he says, My teammate Reinaldo is stuck in traffic, so tonight I go one-on-one -on -one with you, Primate. And you will regret the day you cross the dream team. Yeah, no Reynaldo tonight. And this got a 22 E minus. And then in an extremely short match, Primate defeats Ryan Aldinho in 2 minutes 27 by pinfall with a spear. And during the match, we also had Reynaldo accidentally hit Ryan Aldinho. So they were bluffing. Reynaldo was waiting in the wings to help Ryan Aldinho. And he's basically helped him lose. And again, uh, Ryan Aldinho is not suited to his gimmick. So we're going to track that. Hopefully that does get better. And Primate had an in-ring performance of 33, so solid from him, and 21 from Ryan Aldinho. And this got a 25 east, so solid all around. And then after the match, Primate hits Reynaldo and Ryan Aldinho with a double spear, and then he hits both men with a power bomb to the outside of the ring. And 25 e from that one. And then in a bout that had decent reaction from the crowd but subpar wrestling, Roughneck defeats Drake in 9 minutes 40 by pinfall with a fast roll-up. So we've got Newcastle versus Sunderland and Roughneck escapes with the victory. And apparently they don't click, um, but the match did get the crowd hotter. 19 from Drake, 28 from Roughneck. 25E overall, so we're staying around that 25 area. And then Ashton Rock defeats Matt Riddle in a submission match in 12 minutes 20 by submission with a knee bar. And Ashton Rock makes defence number one of the PWR lightweight title. And this got a 30 E+, plus, but Rock was visibly tiring towards the end. Matt Riddle has debuted his martial art legitimate gimmick and got an above average. And Matt Riddle was also tiring towards the end. And 19 from Rock, 32 from Riddle. Then we go to after the match where Ashton Rock holds his title in the air. And then Matt Riddle slowly gets to his feet and applauds Ashton for his performance. And then Riddle gets a microphone. And he says, When I was asked to appear on this show, I was reluctant. But now, after the match I just had, I am so happy I signed up. Ashton Rock is one of the best I've been in the ring with. And if you'll all have me, I'd love to come back. Not only come back, but I want another shot at that title. And then obviously points at Ashton Rock. And then Matt Riddle offers a handshake to Ashton Rock 
who accepts and shakes his hand back. Riddle then raises Ashton's hand in the air to end the show. So good sign of respect from Riddle and that was appreciated by Rock. And maybe we're going to see Matt Riddle back. He's asked for the shot, another title shot. It looks like Ashton Rock's accepted. We'll see how that goes. So we've got 17 F plus to end the show. And we've increased our popularity in one region, which is the main thing. 28 E overall. And we're going to compliment Matt Riddle, Primate and Rinaldinho on a good performance tonight. Boost some morale. And Matt Riddle seems pleased. Primate's pleased. And Rinaldinho is pleased. And we've got a pay rise request from Primate. So we're going to have a look at this. And I'm going to give him... 50% I don't want to upset him so yeah he's annoyed at the decision uh, oh well, what can I do maybe if we give him a hundred dollars he might be happy no we're just gonna leave that we're not gonna keep wasting our money and before the next show I just want to quickly look at the finances because we're a few months in now and sponsorships have gone up from the first month of 1500 to over 2000 now our wages last month were quite a lot and we lost about $700, so it's either get to small quickly or cut the wages. So hopefully we can just get to small quickly. So let's check the size as well. So we're at 7 importance in Northern England. We need to be at 11. So we're about, I'd say, 5 or 6 shows away, maybe 7 at a push. So a couple of episodes and we should be there. Alright, so here we are at PWR Saints and Sinners. And we open the show with a non-title match, Ashton Rock versus Taboo. And Ashton Rock defeats Taboo in 10 minutes 14 by submission with a knee bar, just to give the champion a win and to keep him happy because he seems to complain when he's not on the shows. So um, even though he's not main eventing with his title, he's just having a match with Taboo. And this match was a high spots match and it got a 26 E 28 for Ashton and 16 for Taboo, so solid match to start the show. And then we go to a video showing Reynaldo and Reinaldinho stood in a field. And he says, hello Newcastle, sorry we couldn't be at the show tonight, but we are training for our massive cup final next week. Hopefully you can forgive us, but we also would like to offer Primate an apology. Last month we tried to trick you, but we know even though you look stupid... You didn't fall for it. So good on you. See you next month, lads. So yeah, uh, Reynaldinho and Reynaldinho have a football cup final. So they can't be at the wrestling show tonight. And yeah, they're just ripping Primate a little bit. And continuing that feud. And 14 F+. plus. So not bad. But then Primate defeats Stee Man in 1 minute 45 by pinfall with a spear. So just a jobber coming in to go against Primate. And during the match, we also saw Reinaldinho accidentally hit man and Reynaldo also accidentally hit man. So they were bluffing. They were in the arena and they tried to cost Primate again. It didn't work. He's, all, he's won again in 1 minute 45. Again, it's come up with Reinaldinho has debuted his annoying gimmick. I don't know why it's saying that. But yeah. Um, and there's a 27 for Primate, 13 for Steam and 19 E minus. And hopefully Reinaldinho gets better at his comedy soon. And yeah, 19 E minus. And then we go into the semi-main event where we again see Drake versus Roughneck. And this time Drake gets the win by pinfall. And it's got a 26 E and 19 for Drake, 28 for Roughneck. So really good from him. And again, they don't have chemistry, but it's still a good enough match. And then... In a decent match, Colossus Kennedy defeats Tommy End in a Falls Count Anywhere match in 12 minutes 08 by pinfall with a choke slam. And Colossus Kennedy makes defence number two of his PWR heavyweight title. And Colossus Kennedy was visibly tiring. Tommy End has debuted his Street Fighter legitimate gimmick and got an average. Colossus Kennedy got a 36, a solid from him. And again from Tommy End, he's solid as well. 32 from him and 37 D minus overall so good stuff to end the show and Colossus doesn't like hardcore matches and neither does Tommy N but still they've got our best match I think ever and we're going to point out Tommy N, Colossus Kennedy and Ashton Rock 
as good examples to try and boost some morale for the top guys and the pleased, pleased and pleased. And yeah, that match between Colossus Kennedy and Tommy End was our best match yet, as you can see there. And Colossus Kennedy is actually in the top three there against Masada and Saxon Huxley. So good stuff from him. So we're going to quickly look at the schedule. Um, next up, in, we've got PWR Prospects, which will just be a show to showcase the people that haven't really had a chance and maybe some new faces. And this is basically just to save money. We don't want to pay any big wages, so there'll be no imports from abroad or any big names coming in for that one and that's just to see if we can maybe make a profit next month and then we head into the rebellion cup which is going to be an eight man tournament there's going to be a lightweight bracket and a heavyweight bracket and the winner of each final will face each other in the main event of the finals to win the rebellion cup so it's going to be the winner of the heavyweight bracket versus the winner of the lightweight bracket and the winner of that will get a, t a title shot at their respective weight championship. And then the winner will get their title shot at New Year's Battle. So yeah, again, if we get 75 likes on this video, we'll get all three shows in the next episode. Alright, so we go into PWR Prospects. And we start with a video package. And it's going to hype four debuts tonight. And they will be split into two singles matches to name the Rebellion Cup wildcard entries. So we're going to have two heavyweights fight and the winner will go into the heavyweight bracket of the cup and there's going to be two lightweight competitors and the winner of that will go into the lightweight bracket. In the heavyweights, we have Val Cabius from Leeds, England, one of the toughest heavyweight athletes on the British scene today and he is named the most valuable killer for a reason. And he's going to take on Cyanide. And after being rejected on TNA British Boot Camp, he took that anger to get better than ever. Now he is here to prove why he is the biggest and baddest monster in the UK today. He calls himself the only man big enough to stop Colossus Kennedy. Then we go on to the lightweight competitors. We've got Sam Wilder from Sheffield, England. At 26 years old, he is a four-year pro that has developed faster than anyone else in the business. He is ready to shock everyone and take the first ever Rebellion Cup. And his opponent, Alex Henry from Carlisle, England, known as the Class Apart. One of the biggest lightweight competitors around on the brink of heavyweight. This agile big man is here to take what he believes is already his, the Rebellion Cup. So I just wanted to introduce four new characters here. Um, I don't know who I'm going to bring back, but yeah, I just wanted to add some depth to their characters. And I think I've done that there with a nice little video package. 24E+, plus, so good rating as well. And we go into the match before the wild cards. This is just LJ, Heron and Taboo, literally just because they're our cheapest wrestlers on the roster. And this got a 21E- minus when Taboo defeats LJ Heron. I wanted to give Taboo a win because he's been jobbing out a bit and I quite like him, so... LJ Heron got a 25, Taboo got a 14, so hopefully he does improve. And yeah, he's still not suited to his gimmicks, so that probably didn't help. But I'm still going to let him improve on that. And then we go into the first wildcard match. In a decent match, Sam Wilder defeats Alex Henry in 12 minutes 21 by pinfall. And we're just going to ignore the gimmick debuts for now because these are on one night deals, so they're going to be re debuted anyway. And the match needed more time in order to tell the story it was designed for. I make that mistake every time. It was set to technical masterclass, so that could have been quite good had we not made it so short. Um, but yeah, 31 from Sam Wilder, so solid from him. And 29 from Alex Henry, so that would have been up in the 30s probably if we had, again, if we hadn't made that mistake. But 21 E minus. And after the match, Sam Wilder celebrates with the fans, and that got a 20 E minus. And then, in the main event, Val Cabius defeats Cyanide in 12 minutes 26 by pinfall and it's got a 29E and Cyanide was tiring towards the end and so was Val Cabius as well and Cyanide had an in-ring performance of 28, Val Cabius got a 26 but yeah Val Cabius has defeated the big man to enter the Rebellion Cup and then after the match Val Cabius grabs a mic and he says tonight I proved I can beat the biggest and baddest monsters around. Colossus Kennedy, I am coming for your title. 
the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And that got a 23E minus, a good promo from Val. And that ends the show, and we got a 26E. So, yeah, successful night, I think. And we've got four new people that we can consider to book. So, yeah, decent. I felt like the depth of the roster was getting a bit thin, and we were seeing quite a lot of the same faces. So, yeah, I think it's a success tonight. No Reynaldo or, or Ryan Aldinho tonight, but I'm sure we'll see them again. And this show increased our popularity in one region. And I just want to praise Sam Wilder, Val Cavius and Alex Henry, because they did quite well tonight. And they're all pleased, it seems. So we're just going to quickly look at the brackets for the next episode. Yeah, we've got Saxon Huxley taking on Matt Riddle in the first of the lightweight bracket. Then we've got, obviously, the wild card Sam Wilder taking on Taboo, who picked up a big victory in the last event. Then we've got Roughneck taking on Val Cabius. So we've got the Grizzled Veteran versus the new up-and-coming heavyweight competitor. And then we have Primate taking on Tommy End. And that's certainly going to be a battle of beasts, which is one way to put it. So it's going to be interesting anyway. So hopefully you're excited for that. If you are, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more TEW 2016 and general wrestling content. And until next time... Peace.